Hello and thank you for coming to check this out. This is going to be a very short guide. I just found a feature of the write-on behavior that I didn't know about before and I thought I would highlight it and share it with you. If you are a long-time user of Notion, then this will be old news and no surprises probably. But if you're like me and you're still learning how to get Notion to do what you want, then this might be useful and interesting. So we have here a couple of these stretching banner style titles. If you've seen the After Effects reproductions that we do here, then you'll know these usually involve quite a bit of keyframing. Um, but I'm going to show you a good shortcut. So I'll grab the line tool. I'll add a nice long line here in the canvas and bump up the width and take off the caps. So I would usually start working by keyframing the first and last point offsets here to get the curve that we want. But instead, I'm going to come and grab the right on behavior. And I'm going to trim it to one second. So you know we have a curve with the right on behavior it defaults to kind of this ease at speed has set to constant so if i played around with the curve it wouldn't have any effect at all but this is the thing that i just became aware of you can set the speed to custom and so now what you do to this curve will influence the animation so I'm going to jump in here and give it that kind of curve that I would usually, I'll get to break the tangents, that I'd usually uh, start keyframing for. So it's kind of like a, a really good shortcut to get into editing a curve. So that's usually, Yeah, that's usually what we try and get, and so now you can see that's what we have with this line. That's really good. That takes a lot of steps out of keyframing. So, what can we do from here? Alright, let's grab this line, and I'm going to duplicate it, and bring the playhead to five frames and offset the endpoint and I'll change the color okay so to get something like this we don't need to come in and adjust these offsets here. They won't give us the smooth effect that we want. But what we can do now is come in to the offset here and edit it directly. So at one second of five frames, we want this guy to end up at, let's say, 80%. about that. Okay, and then from there we have the right base to build good looking titles. That's it. That's all I wanted to show you. I hope that's useful for you. Thanks for watching.